I think you know the FYAGT World Cup in Macau is is the highlight of the year. Certainly, uh, you know there's there's huge races, and the Nurburgring was was huge for me. But uh, you know I always look forward to coming back to Macau. It's such a special race and a special event, and, and the world's elite GT drivers meet there to to compete for the win. As the prize increases, uh, everyone just wants to give that a little bit more, and it makes it even more special winning it. And, and certainly last year was was fantastic, and and certainly uh, yeah, one of my, my big highlights uh, winning the FIGT World Cup. So you know, with that FIA title, it just adds that a little bit more, and, and everyone's willing to go a little step, one step further and push a little bit harder. 2013, the first time with the SLS AMG GT3, you know, we didn't really know what to expect um, and, and how competitive we'd be. Um, you know, I, I always had a, had a, you know, a fable for Macau, loved the circuit back in Formula 3, but, uh, um, you know, we just put our head down and, and obviously delivered a really, really good weekend, which was nearly perfect with pole position and leading the race all the way until until having a puncture two laps from, from the end, which was uh, definitely heartbreaking. Macau is a huge challenge with the GT car. You know, it's uh, as we all know, it's super fast down down the bottom, uh, well over 280 kilometers an hour, uh, high speed corners, and then it becomes really tight in the mountain section. And uh, obviously, with these big, powerful GT cars, you know, the mountain section really is uh, is something special. So I think you know it'll be a huge challenge again. And you know, I think uh, as as always, safety cars are to be expected.